when the congregation here decided that they would no longer need to keep using this church building, but they didn't want to sell the building because they had had an enormous amount of effort put into restoring it following a fire 20 years ago. Uh, so they let it be known that they needed someone to caretake the building, look after it. Yep. And so um, I thought it would be the perfect place for the organ museum. So when I put a proposal to them, they were, because they already knew me, they were very welcoming. And, uh, and that was a few years ago. And so for the last two years, two and a half years, I've slowly been, with the help of a lot of friends, collecting the instruments and putting them together on display. So we, in fact, we have enough instruments to fill two or three museums of this size. We have, of course, the 1881 Jones instrument and the 1885 Sanford and the 1897 Casson Positive, and another positive here of the 1920s. In the big room next door, we have the two large pipe organs, one of which is from St. David's in Northeast Valley, and the other is from St. Peter's in Caversham. Most of the people who are going to visit are going to be organists and people who are organ enthusiasts. And so generally the place, the key is available and people can just come through and play the instruments. 